Hey guys, so this is to show you how to do Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 on a Mac. So just to show them on a Mac here, we're running version 10.66, and this is a 2.66 Intel Core i7 processor with 4 gigabytes of memory. All cool beans. Now, next thing. There's three things that you're going to need in order to get this done. First one is Wineballer. You need to go ahead and go down to Wine, you can just Google search it and hit it. And you need to download the Wine and Wine Bottler combo. Wine is a more techy way of doing things where you can type and do stuff. And then Wine Bottler is this really easy to use system of doing stuff. And go ahead and just drag those two into your applications there. Now, to show exactly which version of Wine I'm using, this is version 1.1.44. Alright, to jump into this, you're going to go ahead and open up Wine Bottler. I already have it open down here, and I'm going to go ahead and go over to it. Now, under this, it'll open you on existing prefixes. If you have never used Wine before, you shouldn't see anything in here. But if you have some Steam games, you might actually see a couple. Like, here's Portal, here's World of Goo, and Spore from back in the day. And then here's everything else I've been working on recently. Trying to install Orbiter, Railroad Tycoon 2, uh, Sins of the Solar Empire, and Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Sins of the Solar Empire does not work. Railroad Tycoon does, Roller Coaster Tycoon does, and Orbiter, I'm trying to figure out. Now, in order to do this, because a lot of people are demanding, like, exactly what, what's the last step that gets this to work, because I have a prior video that shows you, you need to go ahead and install Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, so you go ahead and do all this. It'll take a second to load the CD and actually give me the option to hit open. And you don't really click anything that could be in there. As I last remember, I haven't done this in about a year. And you click Install. And I'm going to install this right to the desktop. We'll just call it RCT2. Voila, there it goes. It just made a little file over there. Wine's popping up with a lot of little information things for you to see. Uh, it's reading the auto run and everything. And what we're going to go ahead and do here is install Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Yes, accepting term. All right, here's where you're going to go ahead and hit custom. If you go typical, this will install like a certain amount of it. And if you go compact, it'll install an even lesser amount of it. But it, with custom, you can do the full install, which is what you have to do. Now, I would click next and it would go through the next steps and everything. But no, we don't need to do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and click this. And this will say, oh no, something went wrong but you shouldn't get this error. It should go ahead and bring you all the way to the end, and then you just need to make sure that you select not to run iExplorer, because that's Internet Explorer. You'll see it in that little menu down here. You want to make sure that it tries to run that same auto run. All right, next point. Aside from the CD and this thing, what I also have running right now is Wine up here. And you want to go ahead and open up Wine. Now you can get to that up here by just typing in wine and go ahead and click on it. It should be in your applications. And once you get that running, you won't see it down here. What you could see is X11 and you could see console, but those aren't related to wine just yet. So you want to go up to wine and you can click change prefix. And I'm just going to go ahead and show something when you do this wrong. So this is Railroad Tycoon 2. This is the one time that I did this and I did it wrong when I was learning how to do this. I just opened up File Manager under Wine. Now it's going to open up a Windows-like program. There it is. And this shows what is going on on this exact bottle of wine. So we're going to go ahead and open up Railroad Tycoon 2, and I'm going to try and execute it here. And voila, this is a broken bottle. That means that it's broken and the application that's inside of it will not run. So it's asking for the CD and it's wine is not able to look in the CD drive or the USB drive so that just doesn't work. What you need to do is replace this with the patch. Now that's why earlier I was talking about you need this no CD patch. This little thing replaces what's inside of this. So there is the auto launch thing, right? This little auto run and once you install it inside of the bottle, it makes one of these EXEs, and you get to replace that EXE with this. 
All right, now let's go ahead and move over to Roller Coaster Tycoon and see how that one looks. So if I move over here, we're switching over, changing prefix, which is like changing bottles. And when we look inside of the bottle, so file manager, this one's running in full screen at the moment, program files, and something else they always have inside of here. Let's go back to program files. You notice iExplorer. So if you accidentally hit iExplorer, it's always trying to launch iExplorer right there. So be aware. Uh, and Forenza Games, Roller Coaster Tycoon, and then when you click the EXE there, this is already a patched version. And this one's already running this patch. Now, how do you access that patch? How do you change it? Well, when you get the little block down here that's trying to say run, if you double click on that, what that just did is that made a new prefix or a new bottle. And it went ahead and solidified everything that's inside that bottle. And by solidifying everything on the inside of the bottle, you broke the bottle, literally. Because you made a bottle that is dysfunctional. So what you have to do is when it's down here, you're going to go ahead and right click on it instead of the typical left click. And you're going to go ahead and look at the contents within, just like you're looking inside of a folder. And once you're inside that folder, find this and replace it with it. So that's a no CD patch. Go ahead and look for one that online that looks exactly like the one you'll find inside there. And once you find it, replace it. Then when you double click on it and it makes a new prefix up here or a new bottle, it will auto run the bottle with the patch. When the patch makes it so you don't need to look for the CD, so you don't have to care for it, and then all of a sudden it skips by all the problems that you would have had in looking for a CD and no CD drive existing. And it looks beyond that and jumps right into the game. And it's pretty zippy, even on a Mac. I mean, look at this. We went exactly from, like, jumping in and out of a game in less than two seconds. So, best of luck to you guys. If you guys are actually still having trouble with this, go ahead and leave more comments below like I fucked up or something and I'll go ahead and delete what I have on here and I'll do it from the beginning and show you what you have to do. Alright, well uh, good luck to you guys and hopefully this works out for you. I'll leave a link to this guy. This isn't the exact one I left but I'll leave a link to a general whole bunch of CD patches and I'll also leave a link to Wine Bottler for you. Alright, good luck, have fun and yeah, definitely have fun rolling, running Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. And another little side note, for those of you with the option of Energy Saver down here, you want to turn that off. Uh, for those of you with i7s, i5s, from what I've seen is those higher-end processors end up messing up when the storms roll in. Every time a, a rainstorm runs in, all of a sudden it gets a big, like, error. So you'll want to turn this off. If it's on, you see it's automatically going to switch between good and bad graphics when you just want it to have good graphics the whole time. All right, good luck, happy gaming, and uh, any problems, leave a comment. Uh, don't have to rate or subscribe, I don't really care. But I'll be coming up with more of these. If you actually have a game you want to try and install on a Mac and it's successful or unsuccessful, let me know. Because that'll be kind of neat to try stuff like this. We should totally start up more... Mac gaming. Alright, good luck to you guys.